time in qualifying, you know, it's resetting your own track records, qualifying one. When in a dominant fashion like this beats Steve in the finals, does it make it a little bit sweeter when you do it in the fashion you did this weekend? Absolutely. To be able to come out and improve each lap um, is pretty tough to do. And especially, I want, I don't see, second or third, like we, we were on a hot racetrack all day. I want to say 125 degrees, so it's hot and that's tough to figure out, especially when qualifying, you didn't have those same conditions. And again, we got really lucky with that buy first round to push the car and see what we could or couldn't do um, to set us up for the rest of the day. But um, I forgot where I was going with this. <laughs> How sweet is it when you do it in this fashion? With yes, track it is. Uh, anyone is special, no matter what. But yeah, to be able to, you know, um, number one qualifier, set a track record and pull off a win. Um, again, that's why I dedicated this trophy right here to David Grubnick. Brittany, what was she doing over there in the other lane? What did he, what did he do? You know, going in on, on race day, um, when you look at who you're running, you kind of already know. Um, there's certain people, and I expect what they're going to do just because of what they've previously done. Sometimes, you know, people have their routines that they do, and, and they run them every single round. So when you pull up next to the person, you kind of already know what you're going, going into. So, you know, having Steve in the final, I knew he was going to do something, whether it's flickering a bulb or, you know, sitting a little bit on the line, whatever it is. That's fine. That's the game he plays. And for me, it was, I already knew going in, you got to put it out of your head. You can't let it distract you because the second you think, oh, well, why is he taking so long? Or why is this person doing this? You're dead. The amber comes down and you're dead. So it's really about focus, locking in on that amber and uh, not letting it distract you. Got your own selfish reasons for wanting to win, extending your points. I think you said this was the first win for Flavor Bank. Um, how much extra pressure when you see Robert win right in front of you? As he alluded to, you got your crew guys out there. It means a lot to them to have the double. Um, pretty cool. Robert and I seem to double up quite a bit. We've done it a handful of times. We did it in, uh, when we won the championship. So uh, Robert and I seem to have luck together. Um, it's cool to see them go out and win. But again, when I was in that car, I, I honestly didn't know I won until I got to the end because that's not what I was looking at. I was just staring at that Christmas tree. We were, you know, I was hearing them talking about the, the track out in front of me and it was just like, all I was thinking was put everything out of your head and stare, you know, down that racetrack. And for me, if I get too distracted for a second, there's just added pressure of something else. Oh, Robert won. Now we, you know, there's, there's always something and it's your mind wandering. You can't be doing that when you're sitting up there on the starting line. So put it out. It was cool when we rolled around the corner. I thought Robert got the win. Um, and it was cool to see him stand up there. Pretty awesome to do, and, and a win for Flavor Pack. Um, our wins have somehow landed with Monster, and it's cool to uh, put this Flavor Pack car in the winner's circle. Uh, Monday morning race for Lee Crab, Brittany. Good job. All right. Monday morning race for Lee Crab, Ms. Ford, congratulations. Mentioning the Flavor Pack win with John Force Racing, what do you do after the first win with a Corporate sponsor? Does anybody ever get trophies? Big party down there at Gorba Linda. What do y'all do? Um, I'm going to call my boss, Frank Teagues. Uh, I'm sure he's watching right now, so I'm going to give him a call and tell him we've got him in the winter circle. Um, it's exciting to do. Um, you know, we're only a handful of races in and we already have three wins in our belt, so we got flavor pack in the winter circle. Um, again, it's really exciting to do that in this car. A couple more questions for you, Brittany, and just in terms of uh, you know, mental philosophy, we've watched you kind of evolve this year from a driver who last year, there was a lot of pressure on you about reaction time, you got a fast car, you, you put it together, you found the confidence, now that's in the rearview mirror. This was a race that you should have won, and you did. And rolling to the starting line against the champ, and he's not the favorite anymore. I want you to talk a little bit about that transition that I think maybe just happened right here this weekend in that final? Um, well, I feel like uh, not just myself, but our whole team's come a long way since last season. Um, like I said earlier, we're already ahead of ourselves with the amount of points that we have under our belt. Um, and me as a driver, I can't compare myself to these guys out here who cut these crazy 30 lights. Um, that's not me. I haven't been able to do that um, here and there, but consistent consistently um, my reaction times were pretty consistent all day long and I just keep trying to improve and work on that um, I'm you know we we did pretty good in Vegas and uh, Houston again in a finals so um, I just keep chipping away at it look ahead to Epping headed to the New England Nationals what do you think about that track 
proper parity that's a couple weeks away. Uh, ready to get to Epi. Now, that, that's the hard part. Now we have two weeks off. Um, I, you know, after coming out here and turning four wind lights on, my whole team, I guarantee, will agree with me. Now we have to go and sit at home for two weeks. We want to get to the next one because you're just on fire. You want to do it again. You want to get back in that seat and see what your team could do, you know, the next weekend. So uh, going to 8500 to distract me, uh, cheer my brother-in-law on um, in a couple weeks, and then we'll be back at Epi. Um, excited to get there. Brittany, congratulations on your win here at Virginia Motorsports Park. We we'll celebrate. Thank you. Thank you.